So in this video, we are finally gonna take a look at the Fibonacci retracement tool. We will be looking at both how to use Fibonacci retracements, but we will also take a look at what the tool actually tell us. So what does these numbers actually tell us? and how can we use them in our trading strategy. So if you think that sounds interesting, I'm sure you will enjoy this video. Uh, make sure to grab a drink, pen and paper if you want to. And without further ado, let's get started right away here. Okay, so let's start this video by opening up a chart. Right now I'm looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame. Uh, and to open up the Fibonacci tool, if you're using trading view, you go to the left here, the left corner, uh, you press the button right here and you will have your Fibonacci retracement tool uh, if you scroll down in the box right there. So let's start by taking a look at what the Fibonacci retracement actually tell us. Let's use our Fibonacci right here. And for now, you can actually ignore why we use it from this point to this point. We will take a look at that later in this video when we cover how to actually use the tool. But for now, let's focus on what these levels mean. So as you can see here on the very top, we have a zero and the next sort of level is called 0.236. And what does 0.236 mean? Well, it's basically a percentage. So this right here means 23.6%. And what is 23.6%? Well, if you take a look at the whole move up from the very low to the very high, the pullback or retracement from the highest point up here down to the red line right there represents 23% of the prior move. So this length right here in between the gray line and the uh, red line is 23% of this whole length in between the gray lines. So this measurement is 23% of this whole length. And for the same reason, you can see this 0.382 level, that basically means 38.2%. So this length right here is 38.2% of this whole move. And then we have the 0.5, that means that this one is 50%. We have a level called the 0.618, which means that this right here is uh, around 62% and so on and so on. And by the way, this 0.618 has a special name. You might have heard of it. It's called the golden ratio. And more on that later on in this video. But all right, so now you have a basic understanding of what these numbers actually mean. But if you want to learn where they actually come from, uh, I will have a small chapter right now where we take a look at the... Uh, some quick mathematics where we get these levels from. But if you want to, I will have chapters on the video. So if you want to skip over this part, uh, go ahead and do that. But I think this will be very quick and, you know, at least in my opinion, very interesting to, you know, understand where these numbers actually come from. So to understand where the Fibonacci levels come from, we need to start with some numbers that is known as the Fibonacci numbers. Uh, and they actually start all the way from one. But let me start here by writing a five and then an eight. And if we add five and eight, what do we get? Well, then we have 13. If we add eight to 13, what do we get? Well, then we get 21. If we add 13 to 21, then we get 34 and so on and so on. We can do one more uh, when we add 21 to to. 34, then we get 55. So these numbers right here are the Fibonacci numbers. And this sort of sequence continues and continues forever. But let's just look at these numbers right here. It is actually from these numbers that we derive or where we get our Fibonacci levels from. So if you take one of these numbers, let's for example, take 21, and divide this one with the previous number, then something interesting will happen. So let's see here, we take 21 divided by 34. If you have a calculator, you can do this yourself. And let's see what ratio we get from this. Well, as you can see, this is roughly 0.618. This one might sound familiar, right? Let's do another one. We can take, we can instead take 34 and divide by the next number. 
So 34 divided by 55. Sorry for some ugly writing right here. But what happens if we take 34 and divide by 55? Once again, we get 0.618. And you can try to take any number on this sequence and divide by the next one, and you will get roughly 0.618. Let's try another thing here. Let's take this 21 and divide by 55. What happens then? So 21 divided by 55. Let's see what ratio we got here. Well, this looks to be around 0.382. And this one also feels a bit familiar here, right? Let's jump back into the chart and see if we remember these numbers. Now we're back in the chart here. And as you can see, the 0.618, which we got from the Fibonacci numbers, is right here. And this is the golden ratio. We call it the golden ratio. And you can also see here that the 0.382, or the 38.2% level, we also got from Fibonacci numbers. And all of these levels right here are actually derived or we have actually gotten them from this Fibonacci sequence. So that is where the numbers come from. By the way, this 50% level is actually not a Fibonacci, uh, an actual Fibonacci number, but it is still on pretty much all the Fibonacci tools. I don't think it matters if you use TradingView or not. It's pretty much always there because this is a very common level for the price to reverse. Uh, so this one is still sort of regarded as a Fibonacci number. Now let's take a look at how we actually use the Fibonacci retracement. And as I said earlier, if you have the trading view, you get the tool from the left here, you open up the, the toolbox right here, and you can find the Fibonacci retracement. But I think pretty much all the trading programs have uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement, so uh, don't worry about that. Uh, by the way, guys, I can just mention real quick that if you want to get started with TradingView, I actually have a special link for you guys, uh, which you can check out down in the pinned comment or in the description below. But all right, so how do we use the Fibonacci retracement tool? Well, it differs a bit depending on if we are in a uptrend or if we are in a downtrend. If we are in an uptrend, what you want to do is that you want to identify a low and a high, a swing low and a swing high. In this case, we have the swing low right here, and the swing high is the very top. So the swing is basically the force to the upside, and then re the retracement is the move against the overall trend. So here we have an overall trend that is upwards. The, the swing is this one right here, and the retracement is the direction against the trend. So we anchor swing low, swing high, and then we have our Fibonacci retracement levels. And these levels are, according to Fibonacci theory, common levels for the price to reverse. Or in other words, for the retracement to end. Another word for retracement is pullback. They pretty much mean the exact same thing. In this case, we can see that we can see that Bitcoin pumped here all the way up here. And then we saw a retracement, a movement against the trend. And as you can see here, we saw buyers coming in pretty much exactly at this 50% Fibonacci retracement level. So in this case, we beautifully reverse to the upside after a 50% move against the trend. Later in this video, we will take a look at some Fibonacci trading strategies, uh, how you actually can use this in your trading. Uh, but for now, let's just take a look at this. Uh, and this is how you actually apply it in a upwards trend. We can once again identify a new swing. So here you can see that we have a low right here. We anchor swing low to swing high. And once again, you can see that we saw buyers coming in pretty much exactly at this 50% retracement. So that is a very com so that is a common level for the price to reverse. And yet again, if you bought at this Fibonacci 50% uh, retracement, that turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful tra uh, trade here. Let's once again, you can see you can always apply this. We can once again find a swing low to a swing high. But in this case, you can see that the price actually reversed, not at the 50%, but in this case, we reversed at the 0.618 or the 62% retracement level. You can see the blue line right here. So 
This is how you use it in an uptrend. But how do we use it in a downtrend? Well, if we look at Bitcoin here, we can see that Bitcoin have recently been seeing a very strong move to the downside. And when we have the trend overall going downwards, then we do the exact opposite on what we did when we saw a overall bullish trend. So now when we have a bearish trend, then we anchor from the swing high to the swing low. So we go from high to low instead of from low to high. So in this case, we anchor here and our very uh, low is down there. And now our actually retracement is when it goes upwards. So the retracement is always when it goes against the trend. And as you can see, in this case, we reversed pretty much exactly at the 0.382 or 38% retracement. But all right, guys, now let's actually take a look at some trading strategies uh, and how you can use Fibonacci retracements. So let's start again with our first swing that we showed in the beginning of the video. So what you need to know here, the first thing you need to know is that Fibonacci retracement is not a good tool to you know only rely on. So what you always, what you pretty much always want to do in trading is that you want to combine many variables so so for example so you for example want to combine the fibonacci retracement together with for example a uh, candlestick patterns right here you have a bullish engulfing pattern and you can also combine it with historical support and resistance levels you can also combine it with indicators such as the rsi the macd you can use the divergences and so on and so on uh, but that is the first thing to notice that you should not only use the Fibonacci retracement. That is usually not a good idea. Of course, sometimes sometimes it works out very well, but sometimes it doesn't. What are some strategies here? Well, one thing you can do is that you can basically trade in the same direction of the trend. So your goal, if you're doing that, is to buy or add to your position at key retracement levels. So for example, in this case, you saw a up move, then it started to go down. And when it went below this 0 0.236, then you pretty much know that we're talking about a real retracement here against the trend. And one strategy here could be that when you started to see buyers coming in here multiple times at the retracement level, you can see one time, two times. And then we also saw a bullish engulfing pattern that could indicate that we're actually reversing here and that the trend will continue to the upside. Another way to use your Fibonacci uh, retracement is to use it as a way of when you want to exit a trend here to the upside. So let's say that the price went up here, but then it continued here and went below the 0.618. Perhaps your trading strategy is that if the trend retraces more than the golden ratio, then you exit the trend. So you can also use this Fibonacci retracement as a way of when you actually want to exit uh, an uptrend. Uh, and there are many, many more ways to use the Fibonacci retracement. There are tons of trading strategies. And as I said, uh, many times you want to combine it with other tools as well. Uh, but these are just some basics here and yeah guys i think that's pretty much it for this video if you feel like you got any kind of help or value then please consider dropping a like and if you guys are interested in more then don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell i hope you guys have an awesome awesome day and i hope i will catch you guys in the next video but for now guys take care ciao ciao